I was gonna say maybe pinch harmonics are harder, but I feel I've got the harmonic. <laughs> Uh, oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna turn off the fucking AC then. Oh yeah, you gotta turn off that fan as well. Welcome back to our apartment where yesterday Claire in a stoned mindset suggested that we rearrange our entire apartment to where we sleep out in the living room and abandon the idea, the very concept of a bedroom. <laughs> And even before this video, she suggested it too. And she's not stoned right now. Yeah, it's a sober uh, concept. To banish the idea of the bedroom entirely. Well, and she said, what do rooms really mean other than the very furniture that you put inside them? Oh, <laughs> before you furnish your place of living, mm -hmm. they're just rooms. Sleep in the bathtub for all I care. Anyway, we're here answering more of your questions for another episode of Lamb's Chops. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm very upset at the uh, way the polls turned out because I think Shred MD is really funny. So you're referring to a week ago, I had a poll on my community tab here. Which do you prefer, Shred MD or Lamb's Chops? And it was an overwhelming Lamb's Chops. No, Eight, almost 80%, I think it was. Thousands of votes. Okay, we just said Shred MD. What about Shred MD as in musical doctor? But then neither of us have our doctorate in music. I have a di diploma in music, so at least there's a D, there's a D in there. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna start off with a couple questions. Actually, we're gonna do the entire video about questions. So I've got one question here from Evan Pocock. Pocock? Pocock? Pocock. Uh, question. Uh, Is it a bird-related question, I wonder? No, oh. music-related. Question. I've been playing guitar for 14 years now, and I seem to be the only person I've ever seen to do this. But when I play with a pick, I hold it with my thumb and my middle finger instead of thumb and index. Do you knew anyone else who did that, and if there could be any downsides to doing that, or if it matters at all, love the video's Silver Boys for Life. Oh! Do you, how do you hold your pick? Well, I use index finger. I'm a tr trad, trad style. Is that tra traditional you, style? Right. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, index finger, thumb. Right. You know, if 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 it's comfortable for you and you've been playing fourteen years, mm -hmm. do do you, man? I was gonna say maybe pinch harmonics are harder, but I feel I'm getting the harmonic. <laughs> the other thing, though. <laughs> um, Max. Ah, Max Hart. Oh, I have some issues playing guitar with my beard. With my beard? Does anyone have some advice on how I can use uh, my beard as a guitar pick? Oh. Please, serious questions only. Well, mm. This is not a joke video. Obviously, it's very easy to use your beard as a guitar pick, and everybody knows that. This guy says... Wait, wait, what's his name? Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Nathan Smith. Thank you, Nathan. Nathan Smith. Nathan. Your... Thank you, Nathan. Uh, I've recently been getting into heavier rocks. Acquired a seven string. Any tips or starting places for a decent player to gateway into heavy and seven string playing? Uh, Dream Theater has a lot of really cool seven string riffs that oftentimes aren't too difficult. The solos are quite difficult, but I'd say that that would be a good spot to start. Maybe some Nevermore or something? <laughs> Yeah. Nevermore is pretty crazy a lot of the time. The riffs? No, the solos, yeah. Mm. But I think they're, like, I mean, you're not using seven string in solos anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I would say, like, right when seven strings started to be very common in modern metal, that would be a good place to start. Mm -hmm. The newer stuff, I think people have gotten crazier and more into eight string, and yeah. the seven string stuff is maybe crazier than it was. Um, Next question. Oh, I'm very hungry. You know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read this question anymore because I don't want to read the username out loud. What's the username? Ooh. Yeah. You're gross. This next one comes from Satanist6969. I'm hungry. <laughs> Very hungry. A little too hungry. Hopefully we don't sweat too much. It's fucking hot in here. Yeah, it's really hot in here. Question. Santiago Cabezas hmm. says... What an exotic name. <laughs> I seem to struggle with my mind slash left hand coordination when trying to solo because I panic and don't put my fingers on the right notes at the right time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Master all the permutations of your left hand with all of the different picking things that you can kind of come up with. And when I say master, I mean play them really slow. Like understand when you've discovered a new combination that feels awkward, then drill it until it no longer becomes awkward. Can I, I can show example? Sure. Okay, here's an example of a scale run. Playing low cranny? Uh, so low cranny. I'm thinking about this like, first one is index middle pinky, then it sh uh, shifts up one position, same shape, and then the next one is index ring pinky. 
the difficult part of that is probably the use of one shape into the other shape for the next string. So if you can master that type of movement at a slow tempo, and when I say slow, it's like, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's where you set your muscle memory. And uh, if you can just do that for a lot of different shapes, I think you'll be way better off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, I have two suggestions for that. And it's one is very similar to yours, mm. like just going super painfully slow. And then the other suggestion I have is actually a technique that a guitar teacher named Chris Schultz taught me when a student of his is trying to get faster or something. He shows them this technique. I don't remember what he calls it, but you need to divide your practice into into three different speeds. So the first one is like snail speed. At that speed, you are playing 100% perfectly. And then you have an intermediate speed, which is like your performance speed, where you're still doing a pretty good job, but it's more like musical sounding. And then you have the highest tier, absolute shred, like as fast as you can, and maybe you're not doing super great at that speed. So the idea is that over time, your snail speed that is played perfectly gets faster, your performance speed gets faster, and that like insane shred speed gets faster. Chris yeah. Schultz is a Vancouver guitar teacher. Mm -hmm. He owns a Horizon School of School Music. Music in Vancouver. He's great. He's also very tall in comparison to myself. He's very tall. If tall people scare you, don't go to him. Les Paul says, so on the dying desk, what's with the pickup switch tick? I get it. But honestly, yours is excessive, in my opinion. It's a bit of a dig. Much respect. Oh, he redeemed himself. Uh, so what are you talking about? He or she is talking about? I go back and forth between pickups quite a bit. Doing that adds a bit of like a vowel sound change in my playing. It adds just like an opening of the sound. It makes it more expressive. I don't know. It's more fun to play. And I find it, honestly, if I'm honest, kind of annoying. Hey. Really? The heart of it is just that I'm jealous. I pretty much do none yeah. in a live setting. It's like switching from your rhythm to your lead channel, like stomping on the fucking lead channel and trying to do this and yeah. I like pretty much can't do it. So I'll just like stay on the bridge pickup if I'm playing live. I've got a lot of questions here about modes and this one has some Chinese characters in it and the name is sponsored by. So I've been playing for roughly 13 years and my biggest setback is learning modes. No matter what I try to do and learn, I'm always super lost and have definitely plateaued. There's a hyphen in there. Any suggestions, tips, tricks, things and stuff? Question mark? I would say only learn modes if you find them interesting. Yeah, and that goes just like more broadly for all theory. Mm -hmm. If you like, you're like, oh man, I really need to learn theory or something, but it's just a fucking drudge. It's just not your flavor. Yeah, and maybe yeah, maybe you're not destined to yeah. not destined. So. You don't it's have destiny. to right? Like you don't have to fucking know this you shit. Don't have, yeah, you don't have to know. I think a lot of people just have individual like the thing about your playing is what makes you unique. So if you're not super familiar with modes and you end up finding some cool sounds that people that are really familiar wouldn't necessarily have thought about, then good for you. If you are really into learning modes and you just can't get a grasp on it, focus on the sound of of one mode in the major scale. And if you can get your mind around which sounds you really like, mm -hmm. that might push you to be more interested in learning it or more passionate about learning it. Cause yeah. it's just about like sparking a passion. So you could be like, I'm just gonna dedicate the next month of my life to learning about this stuff. In trying to find a mode that you like the sound of, you need to know sort of the descriptor of each mode. For example, you're like, oh, I really like the Lydian scale. The reason it sounds different is because it's a major scale with a sharp four. Versus the major scale with a there's only one semitone difference in both of those modes. Same with like Dorian versus natural minor. Natural minor has the flat six, and then Dorian, the only thing that changes is you have a major six there. So if you can know the defining characteristic of each mode, that can also be really helpful. Great. Okay, well, thanks for your questions. If you have any more, please leave them in the comments.
below. We'll try our best to get to them. If you have a comment or a question that was similar to something in this video and you just want further explanation, post away, we'll do our best. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in a weekly guitar lesson, I do wanna hear on YouTube. If you hit the join button right underneath the video, you can become part of that group lesson every Saturday. Which is also, you're joining his member shrimp program. Mm, so yeah. join it just for the name alone. For I sure. think that's a good name. Yeah. Um, anything you wanna add? Uh, if you if you have a question that you uh, really want answered, but you happen to have a super gross weird username, <laughs> consider changing your username yeah. so that there's a possibility your question will get answered. Yeah, and this next one's from Adolf Hitler. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, get, uh, get get out of our apartment. Let's see if we have the camera. Bye. Oh, oh, you hit the fucking camera. I hit the microphone. Oh, you hit the microphone. Mine's gonna sound I wonder better. if that's gonna sound funny. Like, goodbye. Bye.